here's the plan. So I'm going, what I'll do, and I'll try and go through some of the uh, steps as I go. Uh, the unit um, will sit behind the glove, over the glove box. There's no space behind the actual radio itself for that box to sit. Um, but there is a cavity in here and there's a pass-through. So I will mount the box in here. There's some uh, strong metal supports for the, for the dashboard and airbag and that kind of stuff that uh, I can mount that to. I'll probably use a little Velcro and um, zip ties, I guess, to hold it to that support. I'll try and catch that if I can. Um, and then what will happen is um, the USB cables and the audio cable will run back into the area where the radio sits underneath the console, into the box, into the, the cubby box. And let's see if I can get this plug in here. Basically, right now in the cubby box, there is one USB port, and then there's this uh, uh, lighter so cigarette lighter socket. What I can do is I can replace the single port with a dual USB port, and then the single socket with another dual USB port, and um, I'll be able to. Uh, run the audio input, it's an audio output signal from the new unit um, through uh, some space in this and into the USB that drives uh, audio in into the existing head unit. Um, if I want to control the iPod with, with the standard head unit, which I do today, what I have to do is, um, and I'll, I'll, sh I'll show this in more detail when we get to it, but um, there will be the uh, cable that comes out of here, plugs into the non-CarPlay USB that is part of the head unit here. I'll have to unplug that and plug the iPod in, and then I should be able to control a regular uh, uh, iPod just like this thing does uh, today. So that's the plan. Everywhere that there is a interconnection of, of pieces, like where where this uh, bezel meets the uh, HVAC controls or where the HVAC controls meet the shift console, they've got strips of felt all over the place. So um, it's the reason why this car is really quiet is um, there, there's, you, you never hear plastic pieces rubbing against each other because they got felt running all over the place, um, which makes it, makes it really nice. Let's unbox the Android Auto Android unit for the QX50. Instructions. So um, basically, I've got the, uh, it's called the, it, it, I'll do the air quotes, advanced system. So it's got a couple extra things in the basic, but basically it's got three USB outputs, or inputs, I guess. Um, Input for uh, video, uh, both video signal and cameras, and it can do, looks like you can do like four cameras, AV input, TV, I'm not sure why TV, and then a main harness that looks like it um, interfaces with the stereo itself, so, so that harness is going to talk to the stereo. And then, uh, and then this, its audio runs into the USB input. So I don't know if that's clear, but I'll, I'll show that in the install. There's on my car. There's no uh, audio jack as an input to aux. It's it's a USB. So that's what that's going to be. And then there's one more cable there that uh, runs to the, the the screen. So here's everything. Here's that cable that runs, looks like this is the one that runs to the uh, main head unit and it's got the uh, audio jack for the audio to run. There's the cable that actually does that audio run, so it's an RCA to a USB and this will plug into the existing USB in the head unit. 
separate speaker. I believe what can happen with this, and I guess we'll find out, but I think that this is to run uh, sound if you are not using your Android Auto, if you're using the, the um, Nissan or Infinity native uh, side of the infotainment system, you can still get uh, uh, map sound, or readouts for the map, and I think that's what that's for. So that sits somewhere in the cavity of the system. Here is the cable for the USB, so there's, there's three USB inputs. Here's the, uh, one of the AV input cables. TV. Uh, R I, I say USB, RCA. And then this looks like more, this is video out. So I don't think I'm going to use most of, of the video stuff. Um, the QX50 already has uh, four, four cameras and that top view backup camera and all that stuff, so I don't need to use uh, that functionality in this box. This is the converter box for CarPlay and Android Auto, so you plug this into the one of the USBs and um, that'll uh, notify the system and, and this, this controls the communication with, with the phone. So um, it's uh, wireless and wired for Apple and just wired for Android Auto. So that's going to plug into one of the USBs. And then there's the cable for the uh, video. So that's the interface cable, the piggyback cable uh, to, the, to the video between the main unit and the screen. Uh, and this is a GPS antenna. So uh, this box, being the advanced box, has its own apps built into it, so it's basically a little Android auto or a little Android box, and uh, so you can do offline maps or or, or whatever. And so you, I can plug a GPS in. I don't know if I'll be using that because I um, already have the GPS in the QX50, and uh, and and this is really going to be running CarPlay or Android Auto. And here's the main box. Let's see. There we go. Um, a couple of antenna for for Bluetooth. And just a bunch of connectors with pretty clear definitions of where everything goes. So I think the trick is probably going to be um, what I want to do is uh, a, a clean install. I don't want to drill any new holes in the car. Um, so that uh, USB connection. This USB connection that's in the uh, cubby. Um, I'm going to try and figure out how to make that internal to the car. So uh, basically, take this take this connector out of the cubby, and then um, make the connection between the audio and the USB internal to the console uh, underneath the console, and so we don't see that. And then I'll expose a new USB connector, one of those three. Um, in, into that hole. At least that's the plan. So once we get into the car and uh, get all of the other, I have a, a, another few um, uh, USB plugs, some that, you know, a panel mount to replace some of the panel mount plugs that are already in the car. Uh, so once all of that stuff is available, kind of lay it out in the car. One of the things that I'm going to have to do is uh, this is the um, headphone jack to USB connection and uh, again this goes into the um, USB input that exists on the existing infotainment system so that the audio from the um, from the uh, the new system the new Android unit can get into the main speakers into the, the main system uh, this would normally plug into the only USB port in the car, but um, as I showed, I'm going to replace that uh, USB plug with, with a dual plug that will uh, run to the new system. So the plan here is I'm going to uh, take this connector, run it into 
this guy, and this guy is going to sit in the cigarette lighter spot for, uh, or that's that's in the car now. So what I need to, to so the the idea here is plug I'll plug this cable into the input to the to the existing infotainment system, and then plug uh, have this uh, USB cable plugged into that. What I'm going to do is cut a groove into the side of, of this guy so that uh, this cable runs from uh, inside the console to, to the little cubby and then into this uh, USB spot. Um, and then if I still want to control the head unit, uh, use the head unit to control an iPod or, or something else, I can just unplug this USB from within the cubby and plug in whatever I want into that uh, USB spot. So really, uh, the only thing to do right now is to cut a groove into the side of this thing so this cable fits inside of it, so that the only thing that's showing up in the cubby is 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 just this little bit of cable and, uh, of course, those USB ports. This is the second USB a uh, set of uh, plugs that are going to enter the cubby in the car. So there's an existing single USB cubby that sends uh, iPod control or uh, MP3 control into the existing infotainment system. It's actually a square hole, um, so this dual USB should uh, snap right in. See, it just, just uh, mates into the uh, hole as a panel mount. And then this in combination with the dual plug uh, on the cigarette lighter will give me four uh, exposed USB. The two on the cigarette lighter will be the existing USB input to the infotainment system and that is used for audio into the uh, speakers from the new head unit. And then the other one I'll plug into the uh, Android Auto and uh, uh, Apple CarPlay port. And then these two will just be generic USB into the new uh, system, which will uh, be used for, you know, things like like running the existing iPod into that system and, and uh, uh, whatever stuff I, I want to run into um, the uh, uh, Android portion of, of the new system. Uh, because the new system has three USB ports, so this will expose them all. So there's the dual USB, and this goes into the cigarette lighter, obviously, and that, you know, it's threaded on the back, so that'll just screw right into the um, cigarette lighter hole. But uh, what I did is I cut a nice deep groove in the side of this thing. I did not cut into the wires, obviously. Um, but um, what this is going to allow me to do is uh, uh, put this USB cable, which is the one, again, that uh, the uh, audio out from the, the new system has to go into the, the standard head unit for. So basically, um, this end of the cable goes from uh, the jack in the new unit plugs into the USB and then that, this is going to be the new input to the uh, to the standard head unit and then this just fits right in that groove. We'll use this plate as a little demonstration so this little right angle plate came with um, the connector and uh, you know this will be this uh, surface of the plate will be the uh, surface that the cigarette lighter uh, mounts to in the cubby right now and then there's a big plastic nut that screws onto the back of the um, the uh, panel mount connector. And you see the USB cable just runs through that groove in the connector. And so now what I'll be able to do is I can just plug this straight into that. And now I have my audio going into the uh, new head unit all in one nice little place without a bunch of cables running around inside the cubby. This is a lot of coverage of the panel, I know, uh, but 
but it's it's the finishing thing so this is the thing kind of that I'm spending time making sure it looks okay so this is the uh, IO panel that sits in the cubby in the car I've popped it out it pops out pretty easily I'll, I'll, um, so uh, basically what I did is replace that single USB uh, header with this dual USB header and then the cigarette lighter gets replaced with this dual USB header this is the cable that runs from the headphone jack um, into the uh, of the new system into the main system that uh, make sure that you get audio so that will stay plugged in like that most of the time but I can still unplug this and uh, control an iPod or something with the main unit if I want to and then in the back end basically uh, Oh, by the way, and, and then this will these will be the two spare USBs, and then this will be the USB that's attached to the um, iPhone, uh, sorry, CarPlay and Android Auto box. So at the other end of this cable will be that box internal to the system. So if I want to hook in my phone, I just plug it into that one. Now, um, just some notes on the modification. Uh, the stock uh, USB pops out pretty easily just from the front. This little guy um, had some tabs on on him uh, and uh, they're too, they, were, they were too big to fit in the existing hole so I had to shave the body of this down a bit to slide it in but now I've got it so it kind of pops in so that's a pretty good solid uh, attachment. Um, the cigarette lighter guy, getting the cigarette lighter out by itself is kind of a pain because there's a First of all, there's a tab that you have to press to get the metal body of the cigarette lighter out, and that leaves the plastic uh, body in. And then there's a couple of tabs on, this, on the plastic body that you have to press to, to get that out. Um, so that one's not super pleasant, but once it's done, you basically just have a hole, so it's, it's easy. And then this, this guy just has the big uh, nut at the back that uh, holds it in place. So this is what it'll look like from inside the. Um, this is what it'll look like from inside the car, which is uh, uh, actually very clean. Um, and then this, I think, uh, I may replace this with a right angle USB so it, it doesn't stick out quite so far and get in the way of other things that are sitting in the in the cubby.